Ashley Guthrie. I am a history secondary education major. I'm a junior and I'm a setter for the women's volleyball team. Can you explain just traditionally how the recruiting process works for volleyball? Normally, you start the recruiting process as a sophomore in high school and you commit when you're a junior. I was a super late recruit. I, I committed March of my senior year, so I was just in time for spring uh, signing day. But um, for me, it, it just kind of worked out really weird because I had a couple of offers that fell through. I was a little tentative with what schools I wanted to go to and um, I just knew that I wanted to play Division One. I. I wanted to, to play someplace that competes for championships and that um, really like pushes hard. UNC recruited me was because there was a transfer of uh, my position, so there wasn't a setter um, coming in for the fall season. So I knew right away that I had a chance to start, and um, I think the biggest thing in my head was I need to prove myself. I need to prove that I am worthy of being on this team, that I am capable of playing at this level and so I was terrified that every day I was homesick. What was your favorite part of your recruit since it was so short? Honestly I'm gonna say going to Olive Garden with the team. I love Olive Garden, I just love food, but um, I think it was just kind of seeing them outside of the gym and getting to talk to them one-on-one -on -one. and they asked me so many questions trying to get to know me and I was trying to, to get the feel of the team and they were just laughing the entire time and poking fun of each other and it was just kind of like such a cool thing to to be able to see them, you know, not in, you know, their uniforms on their their volleyball gear, it was to see them and is who they are as people, and that kind of just sold me on it. Well, and I'm like super grateful for how the team welcomed me because I was so late. You usually have, you know, time to get to know recruits um, that are coming in. I was, you know, I, I was here for one day in March, and hey, I'll see you in August type of thing. So it was super quick. How upset would you have been if you didn't get to play at the D1 level, since that had been a dream of yours? Um, a little upset, I think, just because it's like, okay, that didn't work out for me, but I don't think that would have been the end. You know, I think I would have wanted to try my hardest wherever I was. So being kind of a late recruit and then coming in here and setting all the records that you have and kind of leaving a legacy or your footprint behind, what kind of feelings does that evoke? Um, it's kind of weird. I want people to know you don't have to have all the hype coming in. You don't have to be something bigger than yourself. You can just work hard um, and get the job done. Yeah, I was a late recruit. Yeah, my story wasn't the normal, I guess. Um, but what I've always wanted is just for people to remember how hard I worked, how much I loved the game, how much I loved wearing this uniform and uh, being with this team. There's a quote I love. I'm a huge quote person. And there's this quote that I love where it's like, there, there may be other people that have more talent than you, but there's no excuse for somebody to work harder than you.